Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalkin. Today, we're here with the third game in my 2023 Chicago Bears replay. Now, to catch you up, we won the first two games of the season. We beat Green Bay 38-17, and then in overtime, we beat Tampa Bay 30-27, and today... We're on the road in Kansas City, the world champions, the eventual world champions. So I don't like our chances today, but let's take a look at Kansas City's defense. Um, let's see here. Go to the notebook. And we can see that they are average against the run and average to good against the pass. So we're going to see what we can do about that today. Um, and uh, let's get this game underway. No problems found. Uh, you can see where are we here. There we are. So you can see we're the manual game and we will play one week. And we'll let that week play out and then we are going to play Kansas City. Week three of our replay. And you can see Kansas City is 2-0 as well, but that's not really surprising. What is surprising is that Denver is 2-0 along with them. Uh, with more points scored and fewer points allowed, so um, that's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, are they still on top? They are. Kansas City is 2-0, and but uh, Denver won their third game, so they're 3-0. and All right, we're, we're going in. Going into week three here. And I will launch the game. And I am going to defer the kickoff to the second half, so, uh, you know, we are going to kick off to them here in the first uh, quarter. And there it looks like they're going to take the touchback. Now, the one thing we know, and we're going to go over their offense here, they've got Rashi Rice at flanker. Their front line is Travis Kelsey at uh, tight end. Uh, right tackle is Juwan Taylor. Right guard is Trey Smith. Center is Creed Humphrey. Left guard is Joe Thune. Left tackle is Donovan Smith. You've got Noah Gray at the other tight end. they got a double tight end alignment here. Split end is Marque Marquez Valdez Scantlin. Of course you have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. Last year he attempted 597 passes with a 67.2 completion percentage and only a 2.3 interception percentage. And uh, then you've got Pacheco in the backfield. So that is how they will line up. Defensively we are going to be um, Montez Sweat out at left end. Left tackle will be Justin Jones. Right tackle will be Andrew Billings. Uh, right end will be Demarcus Walker. You've got uh, Jack Sanborn at linebacker. Middle linebacker is Tremaine Edward Edmonds. And uh, right linebacker is TJ Edwards. And then in the backfield, you got left cornerback Jalen Johnson. Strong safety, uh, Wakan Brisker. Free safety, Eddie Jackson. And right cornerback is uh, Tyreek Stevenson. So uh, we are going to put in the 4-3, that's fine, yeah. And we are going to put in the balance for the very first play of the game, as I usually do. And that's going to be a quick out for five or so, maybe a little more than that. Uh, seven yards? No, five yards. So you got a five-yard pass. And uh, we are going to, you know what, on this next one, all right, let's, let's look for the pass and double team Kelsey. And he is back to pass, and it is complete. And uh, he hit Justin Watson on a cross, crossing pattern. So that's the uh, problem when you take out Kelsey with a double team. Because it's like they've got, and then that was the replay, which I didn't really need to do. But anyway, um, they've got a first and 10 now at the 41, at their 41. I'm going to, 
I'm just going to put in the pass defense, the general pass defense. He is passing. I mean, it is, after all, they do have Mahomes. I think they should utilize Mahomes. He gets a 10-yard gain, and they have another first down, and they are into our territory at the 49. I'm going to put in the balanced again. The balanced actually did pretty well in stopping them. It only allowed five yards, but, I mean, the other stuff. Yeah, there we go. I mean, he got six there. No, he got five. Just five. So, yeah. Maybe we should keep the balanced defense out there. Balanced again. And he is passing. And it is incomplete. That's, that's uh, strange for Mahomes. So they're going to have a third and five. I guess you've got to go looking for the pass. Um, pass and double team Kelsey. I mean, that's what you got to do in this situation. And they they did pass. Was that? No, it was an inside run, and they only got a yard out of it. So they should punt. I mean, it would be interesting, but they might punt here. Yeah, and I'm going to put in the punt return. So we stop Kansas City on their first drive, which is uh, strange. And that's going to be that's going to be a coffin corner, and it's going to hem us up at our eight yard line. So um, offensively, we are going to have uh, DJ Moore out there. Uh, Second tight end is going to be uh, Robert Tunyon. Front line will be left tackle Braxton Jones. Left guard will be Trayvon Jenkins. The center will be Lucas Patrick. The right guard will be Nate Davis. Right tackle is Darnell White. The other tight end is Cole Komet. Uh, flanker is Darnell Moody. We got Fields at quarterback. He attempted 370 passes last year. For a 61.4% completion percentage and 2.4 interception percentage. And you're going to have Khalil Herbert at running back. So with that um, all said, we are going to go off tackle with Herbert since they are average against the run, Kansas City is. And he doesn't get any. He gets like maybe back to the line. Zero yards. But we got to stick to the run. We got to stick to our game plan which coming in should have been to go with the run. We're going to go line buck with Herbert. And he gets stopped again. So this average uh, defense is looking for the pass, obviously. And now we're going to do a short pass. Short pass to Moore. And uh, he's going to be must-running. Fields is must-running. Uh, must-running for the first down. Nice pickup there by Fields. Flushed from the pocket. I was hoping that would happen, but you can't really plan for it. So he does get the first down, and we have another set of downs. Which means we are going to go back to the run with Herbert. We're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying to nail that run. And he does get a, some good yardage there. That average defense coming into play. And uh, he picks up six yards. So, you know what? Let's change out Herbert on this one and put in um, Blassen game. And then we're going to go line buck with Blassen game. And he just gets back to the line, maybe. So we're going to have a third and four. Third and four. I'm going to go flat pass to commit. And there is a penalty on the play, and they stop it, so it's probably on us. Yep. Offsides against us. So we got a third and nine now. Third and nine changes the complexion a little bit. We got to go maybe short. I'm going to go short to Mooney. If 
Fields is back, and he misses horribly. So we're going to have to punt with uh, a little over nine minutes left in the first quarter. 9-11 left in the first quarter. We are going to send the punter out there. 0-0, zero, zero, though. We stopped Kansas City on their first drive. And, uh, whoa, that guy mowed right through the first tackler. 36-yard punt and an 11-yard return. That is not good at all. So Kansas City is set up nicely, first and 10 at our, at our 45. I'm going to put in the balanced defense. It seems to play well against this um, Kansas City offense. And that is incomplete. So at least maybe I've settled on a good defense to play. We're going to go, uh, where is it again? We're going to go balanced, yep, balanced again. Second and ten. Ooh, we're going to sack Mahomes, nice. Well, now i got to put in the pass defense. I mean, yeah, you've got to set up for a pass um, and probably double team Kelsey. Uh, pass and double team Kelsey. And they run the ball and we tackle them immediately. So again, we've held Kansas City. We've held this high-powered Kansas City Chiefs offense, which is really uh, is really great. Now we're gonna get we're gonna set up for the punt return, and they are punting. And we're going to apparently just let it hit. And again, we're going to be hemmed up in our own end, starting at our own six-yard line. So we're not getting good starting field position. We started last uh, drive at the eight. And we're, dry, we're starting this one at the six. Going to stick with my game plan, though. We're going to off our line bucker off tackle here with uh, Herbert. And uh, he does not get any yards. He gets zero yards. Now, Kansas City is probably going to look for um, the run, and so I am going to go short to the flanker. And that works for a first down. Nice. We tricked them. We tricked them. They were probably thinking, oh, yeah, they're definitely going to run. And, you know, I don't want to pretend that being average against the run is bad. You know, that's not really bad, but uh, that's the worst that they are. So you have to try to keep hammering the run. Plus, we are very unbalanced between running and passing this year. Statistically, we have way more uh, passes than we have runs. And most of our runs have been by fields. So that's an issue. We've got a second and two at our 26, though. Now I'm going to try and uh, let's try an end run with Herbert. I don't really like end runs because they don't seem to get a lot of yards, but right there he does. Ooh, hoo, 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 he got some nice yards on that. So, 15-yard uh, gain by Herbert. <clears throat> and we have a first and 10 at the Chicago 41. Let's do a look-in pass to Komet. Let's throw him off. He thinks we're trying to run, and uh, we are, but uh, not there. And it's an incomplete pass. This is the problem you run into with fields. Even high percentage, uh, low-risk passes, he can't um, seem to complete. We're going to go off tackle with Herbert. And Herbert and getting some yards, baby! And he does. He gets the first down. He gets like 14 or 15 yards on that. Yep, 14-yard gain for Herbert. And so we have a first and 10 at the Kansas City 45. I'm going to air this one out. I just feel like I want to air this one out and see what we can do. And that's complete! <laughs> you got to be kidding me! All right, well, DJ Moore, he caught Moore on the fly for a lot of yards right there. 30-yard gain. So we've got a 
First and 10 at the Kansas City 15 with 421 left in the first quarter. I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. And there we go. That average defense against the run is rearing its ugly head. Five-yard gain, and you can see Herbert has seven runs today for 40 yards, a 5.7-yard average. We've got a second and five at the Kansas City 10. Let's try to just throw this right into the end zone and get this whole thing over with, if we can. And we can! Nice touchdown, Chicago. So we take the lead. We take a 7 nothing lead here with 3.44 left. If I beat Kansas City, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, we're going to kick the uh, extra point. Santos boots it. It's up and it's good, and we are up 7 nothing. So we will kick off again. 7-0 lead, 3.24 left in the first quarter. So there's still a lot of time to play. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I do like how we're playing so far against this Kansas City defense. Of course, you're going to put in the uh, balance. The balance seems to be working well as a defense. And uh, he gets about five yards there, I would say. Yep. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, five-yard gain for him. Um, I'm going to put in the balanced again. They've got a second and five. Mahomes is back to pass, and that is going to be completed just past the marker. So he's going to get like uh, seven on that. Yep. So first and ten for Kansas City at the Kansas City 37. I am going. I'm. You know what? I'm going to just look for the run and key on Hilaire and. And that was the right thing to do because we got him in the backfield. He, well, not really. We got him at the line of scrimmage. He's dropped for zero yards. Now I'm going to go back to the balanced. And he is back to pass. And we get him right at the marker. So he gets the 10 yards that he needed for the first down. Kadarius Tony, who they just cut in real life, makes the catch. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it. Oh boy, he runs the ball. We do get him, but he gets about seven or eight yards. No six. He gets six. All right. Um, I'm going to put in the balanced on second and four. Mahomes back to pass. He's out running on his own, and we are not going to get him until he gets a lot of yards. So, we are, I mean, you know, we're bending but not breaking yet. Uh, first and 10 for him on our 35. I'm going to go linebacker blitz. Let's see if we can uh, rattle Mahomes. No, really we can't, although he it is incomplete, which is nice. And so he has a second and ten at the 35. I'm going to look for the pass. I'm just going to look for a general pass. And he is out on his own running the ball, and we're not going to get him until he gets a first down. And a lot more. Got like 17 yards on that. Yep. So there's nine seconds left in the first quarter. I'm going to look for them to run with Hilaire. And they do, and we were keying on him, and he still got like two yards. Three yards. He got three yards, and we were keying on him. I'd hate to see that guy if we didn't know that it, he was going to run at all. All right, so second and seven at, at our 15, I'm going to put in the balanced... And he runs right up the middle, and we stop him right at the marker, so he gets the first down. Jarek McKinnon explodes up the middle for seven yards. So he has a first and goal from the eight. I am going to put in the run and key on Pacheco. 
And it looks like probably that's who he ran. Let's see. Yep, they, he ran Pacheco, and we uh, got him after he gained three yards again. Looking for the run and keying on the guy, and he got three yards. So we got a second and goal at the five. I am going to put in the uh, balanced 13.45 left in the half. And he scores a touchdown, and if he puts the kick up, with and with Butker, I think he probably is going to be able to put the kick up successfully, he'll tie the game. Uh, we will put in the kick block, though. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it doesn't work either. And so it is a tie game at 7. Still, if you were going to tell me that we're going to be tied with Kansas City at 7-all uh, with 13-29 left in the half, I would have been very happy with that. All right, so uh, first and 10 at our 25. I'm going to try a look-in pass to Lewis. Lewis. And that's going to be incomplete. So, uh, Fields went back and he missed his target. So, Fields today is 4 of 7 for 60 yards on a touchdown. Uh, I'm going to go not... Yeah, I'm going to go end run with the running back. And there is a penalty flag on the play and Johnson gets a lot of yards so I might even just decline this penalty if it's against them yeah I'm going to decline it uh, wait a minute uh, Chicago ball on the 36 Chicago well wait a minute it was unnecessary roughness alright I guess I'll take it because we're going to gain a lot of yards from that. So we got a first and 10 at the Kansas City 49. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. And he goes right up the middle for some yards. So we got a second and six at the 45. I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. Got to keep that, you know, you got to keep your game plan. Oh, he got nailed maybe in the backfield. No zero yards. He got nailed at the line. So you got to stay with your game plan, though. Third and six, we're going to go flat pass to uh, Moore. And that's incomplete. He misses his man. All right, I, I'm going to have to punt and put him deep in their end. Much as I would hate to do that, I'd love to go for it here, but you just can't do that. I mean, we're playing the world champions and we're tied with them. So we got to nail them as deep as we can nail them. And we're going to nail them at the one. I mean, that's as good as you could hope for. 41-yard punt with no return. So I am going to definitely, uh, you know what, I'm going to put in the run and we're going to key on Pacheco because down there I don't think he's going to want to pass. Oh, he does though. He is back to pass in his own end zone. And it's for a lot of yards and it's going to be maybe even a touchdown, you might even say. No, we finally do catch him. But it was a long, long number of yards, 53 yards on that play. So there's 10.48 left. I'm going to put in the balance defense. I mean, I'm just happy that I'm hanging with him, but, uh, you know, I'm getting kind of excited when we went up 7 nothing. But now yeah, he came back to tie it, and now he's marching right down the field on us like a hot knife through melted butter. I'm going to put in the uh, pass defense. And, of course, he runs. And, of course, we don't stop him, so he's going to have a first and goal from the six-yard line. First and 
First and goal to six, I'm going to put in the run and key on Pacheco. And he runs it, and I'm assuming that's Pacheco, and we got him in the backfield. Yes, it was. He loses two yards, so at least we're making him, you know, eat the clock, and maybe we can even hold him to a field goal. Who knows? Second and goal from the eight, um, I am going, I'm just going to look, I'm just going to put in the general run. No, he's passing. Yeah, I mean, you got to expect that's going to be a touchdown. And uh, I, again, I expect Butker to put up the extra point, so uh, kick defense. And uh, Kansas City takes a 14-7 lead on us. So uh, with 9.21 left in the half, we're down 14-7. Now remember, we were losing to um, probably both Green Bay and Tampa Bay at the half. I know we were losing to Tampa Bay at the half, something like 14-3. Uh, but we were probably even losing to Green Bay. So let's let's try a short pass to Moore. I don't know if there'll be... Ooh, there's a penalty flag. Might be a free play for us, and it's a lot of yards. Definitely going to decline this one. Oh, oh! Well, now I'm not. We fumbled it. We had, had a ton of yards, and then we fumbled it. Hopefully the penalty's on him, though. No. So he's going to have it first and 10 at our 48. That was horrible. That was, I mean, you, can't, you cannot afford that playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, we had a pass defense in, but uh, he ran it, and we stopped him after two, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass defense. He runs it again, though. And we do stop him again. But now he only has a... Uh, like a third and two. Third and two, I am going to put in the balanced. He's going to pass. And it's going to be incomplete, so let's see what he does here, because he's out of field goal range. Let's see if he punts. Probably shouldn't. Nope, he's not. Um, so, fourth and two, I am going to put in... I'm, going to put, uh, I'm putting all my eggs in the basket that he's going to try to run Pacheco. No, he's going to pass. But it's incomplete, and we're going to take over. Unbelievable. Not even looking for the pass, and it was incomplete. All right, so we have a first and 10 at our own 40. I'm going to try another long pass. Let's go long to Moore. Okay, that's going to be uh, Fields out on the run, but he only gets like two or three yards. One yard. He only gets one yard. Dang. All right, you know. Let's try it again, <laughs> you know, and not long to commit. Let's go long to Scott. There is a penalty on the play. That's going to be on target, though. I'll definitely turn this down if, uh, if it's against them. Yeah, I'm going to decline that. So we got a first and 10 at the Kansas City 29-yard line. Now let's go off tackle with Foreman. And I don't think they expected that. We got some good yards off of it. Still plenty of time left, certainly, for us, especially for where we are on the field. So we got a, a second and three with 546 left in the half at the Kansas City 22. Going to go line buck with Foreman. And he got a yard, maybe. He did. He got a yard. So we got a third and two coming right up. 
I'm going to go line buck, but with fields. And he's going to get the first down and fumble the ball. Unreal. Oh, okay. I'm going to just fall on the ball. So, yeah. Yeah, so we got the first down. So it's going to be a first and 10 at the Kansas City 16. I'm going to do a look-in pass to Moore. They're going to let me, so I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do it. Got to do the high percentage stuff with him, and he's going to get the first down with it. Nice. So we are moving on Kansas City here. First and goal at the Kansas City six with 3:54 left. Let's go line buck with Foreman, and he's going to score a touchdown. Foreman, we tie the game if uh, Santos makes the extra point. So we're going to kick the extra point. I can't believe we're playing a game like this. I mean, because like in real life, Kansas City won this game something like 41 to, to I don't know what it was, 41-17 or something like that. So uh, we're going to kick off. Yeah, they can't figure our D out. And they're going to take the touchback. So they have a first and 10 at the Kansas City 25. I'm going to put in the balance defense. Mahomes is back to pass. It would be great if he would make a mistake here, like an interception or a fumble or something. But that is incomplete. I'll take it. I'm going to put in the run. I've got a hunch here. I'm going to put in the run, and I'm going to key on Hilaire. No, he's passing. God, I just had a hunch. Like, oh, boy. Wait a minute. Did we get that? 13 yards. No. We just tackled the runner. I, it looked like maybe we got a fumble or something. All right, so he's got a first and 10 at his 38. I'm going to put in the balance again. And that is just going to be out of bounds and incomplete or whatever. So, yeah, he's going into that mode now where he does sideline passes and everybody runs for the sidelines, which is in our favor. I'm going to look for the uh, I'm going to look for the pass because he has to. He's going to get more desperate now and want to. Ooh, we didn't pick that off. Come on. All right, but it is incomplete, so it'll be third and ten. Third and ten, and we're going to double cover Kelsey with a pass defense. And that's incomplete. So he's going to have to punt, of all things. With still two minutes left, but I, you know, we don't have the kind of offense that can move down the field. We'll put in the punt return, but um, that's going to be about it. You know, because we got two minutes left, but everybody's going to run for the sidelines, and we don't have a real high-powered offense. So I, I don't like our chances of getting a lot, you know, of getting down into scoring position. But, you know, you got to try, I guess. So we've got a first down. Let's try the long pass. Let's try the old long pass to Moore. And Fields gets it up, and it's incomplete, which you would have to expect is going to happen. Let's try a, there's a minute 45 left, let's try the short pass. Short pass to Mooney. He had to do the outlet pass to the running back, which turned out to be pretty good, because now we've got a like third and one coming up. So, third and two. Third and two. Let's let's put in the call a timeout. And uh, minute 37 left. 
Let's go line buck with Fields. Oh, they catch him in the backfield. And I can't, I can't go for it down in this, um, you know, down where we are. Because we're still pretty deep in our territory. Fourth and three. Going to definitely punt the ball. And remember, we're going to get the ball at the outset of the second half. So if we can just hold him to nothing here. That's a nice punt, too. I mean, he's going to be starting at his 13-yard line. 49-yard punt. We really needed that. So I'm just going to put in the pass. I'm just putting in a general pass defense, looking for the pass. And he's going to do everything that's going to run to the... Well, that was over the middle. So, I mean, maybe he is trying to... Uh, Maybe he is trying to work it down the field and not to the sidelines and, you know, getting out of bounds. I'm going to look for the pat, put in a pass defense again. And he runs the ball, and we stop him after about seven yards. So he's going to have a second and three, but I mean, you know, he needs to score, and time is not his friend. There's only one second left. I'm going to put in the Pass in double team Scanlon. And he runs the ball and didn't even get the first down, but it doesn't really matter. That's going to be the half. <clears throat> no, he's got a third and one. All right. <clears throat> oh, no. All right. Yeah. That's what I thought. So we will look at the uh, first half statistics as soon as we uh, have the ball and we're set and ready to go. But it's 14-14 after one half of play here against the world champion Kansas City uh, Chiefs. So let's take a look at the uh, statistics. You got uh, Justin Fields, 8 of 13, passing 146 yards and a touchdown. And Patrick Mahomes is 12 of 21, passing 165 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Herbert has rushed nine times for 44 yards. Fields has rushed four times for 16. Foreman has rushed three for 14 and a touchdown. Uh, Johnson's rushed once for 11 yards and blasting game once for zero. On their side, uh, Edwards Hilaire has rushed eight times for 41 yards. Jarek McKinnon has rushed three times for six. Pacheco's rushed three times for three. Mahomes two times for 29 yards. So uh, let's go line buck with Johnson. Because we're going to stick with the run. And they, there's a flag on the play. Hopefully it's on them. Because we only got four yards. Although four yards is not bad, but. Yeah, we're definitely accepting the penalty. So now we've got a first and 10 at our 44. Let's go line buck with Johnson. Got to keep the run on. You got to keep the pressure on the run because this defense, this Kansas City defense, isn't that great against runs. So we got a second and five. I'm going to go flat pass. To Tunyon. And in traffic, he catches it at the marker. Five yard reception for tight end Robert Tunyon, former Green Bay Packer. So we got a first and 10 at the 46 of Kansas City. Um, I am going to go with a look in pass to Moore. And that's going to be complete, almost to the marker, but not quite. But probably close enough that we're going to be able to pick it up, I would think. So we've got a second and one at the Kansas City 37, and I'm going to go line buck with Fields. And he's going to get the first down and more, and a lot more. 
Nice. That was beautiful. We're down to the 22 of Kansas City on a 15-yard run by um, Fields. So we got a first and 10 at the Kansas City 22. Let's go look in pass to Komet. And that's going to be complete almost again, almost to the marker, but close enough that we're probably going to get it. Second and one, I am going to go line buck with Johnson. And he's going to get the first down. That's all he had to do. I mean, he, he got a, yeah, maybe two yards. Yeah, he got two yards, but that's all he needed. And now we have another clean set of downs. First and ten, we can get a first down without scoring a touchdown because we're at the 11. I'm going to go line buck with Johnson. And he runs right up the middle, possibly for a touchdown. <laughs> crazy. This is crazy, people. I've got the Chicago Bears, who were 7-10 and 10 last year, at 2-0 and oh, and leading the world champion, the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, by the score of 21-14, with 10-43 left in the third quarter. And we're going to kick off. This could be a, a, a historic week three for our Bears. We do stop him, but he gets a nice return out to the 26-yard line. And I'm going to put in the balance defense. That seems to be working pretty well overall today. Mahomes is back to pass. He's down by a touchdown now, so he's going to have to get serious. And we do ca he catches the ball, but we get him right there at the marker after a four-yard gain. Or right there where he caught it. So they got a second and six. I'm going to put the balanced in again. He is back to pass again. And it's incomplete. So now he's got a third and six. And I am going to put in the pass and double team Kelsey. And he runs the ball, but we stop him quickly, so he's going to punt. I mean, I would assume he's going to punt. He tried to sneak one by us, but it didn't work. So we're going to put in the punt return. 9-12 left in the third quarter of the game, with us up 21-14. And I am going to try to return the ball. And we do get it out to the 26-yard line. So we're going to have a first and 10 at our 26. Let's go off tackle with Johnson. I'm just going to keep nailing it. I'm just going to keep running the rock because this Kansas City defense isn't that great against the run. We got four yards on that. Let's see if we can change out Johnson for... Foreman. And then we're going to go line buck with Foreman. Uh, he's going to get caught in the backfield big time. And again, you know, it's all about eating time off the clock. Uh, third and seven. All right, so third and seven, you're going to want to do a flat pass to Mooney. And hopefully complete it. And I think it was complete, but he was tackled right there, and we still have to get two yards. Yeah, he got four yards on that. We've got a fourth and three. We're going to punt. Let's see if Gill can nail this one deep.
He returns it, and uh, he has a good return. He gets the ball out to the 30. 50 yard punt, though, and a 13 yard return. I'm going to put in the balanced defense. I mean, we're not going to hold Kansas City forever. I'm surprised we've o- that they've only got 14 points so far. We do. Uh, he passes the ball to uh, to Tony, and Tony gets it after an eight yard gain. I'm going to put in the run and key on Pacheco. And that's exactly he runs Pacheco. He's so predictable. Usually these teams are not predictable, and they and they fool me a lot. But Kansas City hasn't fooled me too much in this game, which is partly why they only have 14 points. So he's got a third and three. I'm going to look for the pass, I, but I'm just going to look for the plane. I'm just going to have a plane. Oh, but we caught him. He ran the ball when we were looking for the pass, but he still only got back to the line of scrimmage and will probably punt the ball again. I can't believe we're holding him. I mean, frankly, I just cannot believe we're holding Patrick Mahomes to 14 points and his Kansas City offense. So we're going to try to return the ball because this we could get some nice yards out of this. And we do. We're out to the 32-yard line. And there is 445 left in the third quarter. I'm going to go line buck with Johnson. Just got to keep, you know, pounding the rock, pounding the rock. And Johnson gets some good yards. Six yards on that. Going to go line buck again with Johnson again. And there is a penalty flag. He gets the first down, though, and a lot more, so I will turn down the penalty. 17-yard run for Johnson, surprisingly. Uh, it was on us. All right, so we've got a second and 14. I'm going to go short to more. And that might be a first. It is a first down and a little more. We got the uh, we got uh, we needed fourteen. We got fifteen on that. Kansas City defense is just not that good. All right, we're gonna go line buck with Foreman because now everybody's getting tired at running back because we're pounding the rock. But we're pounding the rock and doing it really well. Stick to the game plan, people. That's what the game, name of the game is. You're playing a really good team. Go at their weakness. Okay, so up 21-14, 237 left. We have a first and 10 at the Kansas City 42. I'm going to go I'm going to go end run with Fields. Fields out on his own running and he gets some good yards too. 7 yards. Nice. We're closing in on Santos's territory. Second and three at the Kansas City 35. Let's go line buck with Foreman. Uh, he only got a yard, maybe. One yard. So that's going to be third and two. Third and two. Okay, Herbert's in there. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. And he gets the first down and a little more, and that's all we really needed him to do. Just keep the clock running. Monge on the clock. Monge on the field. <laughs> so we got a first and 10 at the Kansas City 29. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. I am going to go draw play with Foreman. And he's going to get caught after maybe a yard. Yep. Minus yard. He got a minus one yard on that. But again, we are, uh, you know, we're approaching the fourth quarter and we're in his territory. Second and 11 at the 30. I'm going to go flat pass to commit. And that's going to be incomplete. So we got a third and 11 coming up. 
Don't like the looks of that. Third and 11 at the 30. You got to go short to Mooney. Oh, he's going to be out on his own, out on the run. That could be good. It is pretty good. Well, we've got a field goal here, but we only have to go two for a first down now. So I'm almost, fourth and two, I am almost tempted. You know what, I'm going to kick the field goal. I'll kick it. Santo should make this, and he does. So we are up 24-14. We're up by 10 points now. And that's why I kicked the field goal, because that put us up by 10. He can't, even if he gets a touchdown with a two-point conversion, he's, he still can't tie us. So, but if I had gone for the fourth down there and we didn't get it, he would have had the ball, granted, deep in his end, but he would have had the ball and would have been able to go down and tie the game. And that's a quick pass by Mahomes, but we're right on top of it. And we stop his receiver right where he catches it, which is for only three yards. Second and seven, I'm going to put in the balanced again. And this time he's running the ball. And we get him in the backfield. We got the runner. We got Pacheco in the backfield. I've never seen, in real life or in a computer game, I've never seen Kansas City play this poorly. Third and seven, we are going to look for the pass. And that's incomplete, and they're going to punt. I'm telling you, they're going to punt, and we're up by 10 points. And we're moving the ball on him. I mean, it's great. Yep, he's going to punt. I'm going to put in the punt return. And I am going to try to catch the ball and run with it, and we only get a yard. Maybe maybe nothing. Fair catch. All right. He called for the fair catch. So we got a first and 10 at our own 22. Now we're just trying to eat the clock. We'll go line buck foreman. I don't even care how many yards we get. There's a penalty flag down. Hopefully that's on Kansas City because that would be great. Nope, it's on us. So we've got a first and 20. I am still going to go, we're going to go off tackle with Foreman. He's not going to expect that. And Foreman gets maybe two yards. Again, I'm just trying to eat clock. That's all we want to do. So we don't want incomplete passes. We don't want people out of bounds. Second and 18, let's go flat to more high percentage passes that can possibly be completed. And it, it's not... So, um, we have a third and 18. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the, end, the old end run with Fields here. Their average against the run in Fields is awesome. And he does get some yards. He gets us almost back to the 20. So, you know. And that kept the ball on the ground, and it kept us where we are in a position to punt the ball away and make him eat some more time. There's 10.50 left in the game, and we're up by 10 points. And that ball is going to come to rest at the 28-yard line. So he's going to have a first and 10 at his own 28. After another 50-yard punt by Gill, Gill has been just as important today to us as anybody going to put in the balanced defense and he runs the ball he hasn't been running the ball very well he only gets maybe a yard two yards out of that and we weren't even really specifically looking for the run I'm going to put in the uh, I'm going to put in the pass defense because I think here he's probably going to try to pass no he doesn't but he ran it up the gut and still only got two or three yeah three yards so he's going to have a third and five coming up 
and I'm going to look for the pass. I'm just going to put in the general pass defense. He is passing, but it's going to be incomplete. He's going to have to punt again. And he will. There's still 920 left. I think the computer will... Like in real life, I know as a human, 920 left and you're down by 10, you don't have enough time. Probably. But the computer's going to think he does. Because in real games, in a real game situation, down by 10 with 9 minutes left, you would still think you have a chance. Even after you... Um, punt the ball away. We got a nice return there. We're going to have it first and 10 at our own 33. There was a 49-yard punt by them and a 15-yard return by us. Okay, let's go line buck with Johnson. And he gets right back to the line of scrimmage, maybe. One yard. He gets one yard. So, yeah, one yard. I didn't mean to do the replay again. But anyway, so Johnson today has eight runs for 44 yards. And uh, on second and nine, I am going to go off tackle with Johnson because we're just trying to eat clock. And he gets caught in the backfield. Not particularly good for us. He loses a yard, so now we're going to have a third and ten. Um, I'm going to do a short pass to Mooney. One thing we just don't want is a turnover. And that's going to be a first down, though. So we get a new, fresh set of downs. I think if we can get maybe another first down, if we can get one more first down, I think we probably have this game won. Uh, I'm going to go line buck with Johnson. He runs it right up the gut for like two or three. Two yards. So, uh, Johnson today has 10 runs for 45 yards, which is not bad, and a touchdown. Going to go off tackle with Johnson. He's going to be the workhorse right now. And he gets good yards. He gets almost to the first down. <laughs> Oh my God! This is the this is a perfect this is a perfect example of stick with your game plan. All right, third and one. We're gonna go line buck, but with Fields, and he does get the first down. That's all he had to do. I mean, he only got the first down, but that's all he needed to do. And we have a first and ten at the Kansas City forty-six five oh eight left. We're going to go flat to Moore. And there is a penalty flag, hopefully against him. They're letting us play, so I don't know. They let the play go on, so maybe it's against Kansas City. Yes, and we will accept the penalty. Thank you, sir. So it's a first and ten for us at the Kansas City 31. Going to go off tackle with Herbert. And he's going to get a ton of yards. He gets like seven or eight yards on that. Yep. And now we're, you know, we're in Santos's field goal territory. <coughs> Second and three at the Kansas City 24. I'm going to go flat to Tunyon. And that's going to be complete to Tunyon. Ten-yard gain. Yeah, there's 345 left, man. I'm going to go short to split and more, try to pop this right into the end zone right now. And that's exactly what we do, and now he's not coming back. He is not going to win this game. I can just pin my ears back and look for the pass on every play. We're going to put up the extra point. And we're going to take a 31-14 lead. And we're going to kick off.
And he's going to take the touchback. 325 left. I'm just putting in the pass defense. I mean, because he needs 16 points, to, or 17 points to tie us. And I don't see it happening, frankly. Two touchdowns and a field goal. <coughs> I'm going to put in the pass. Like, he, if he runs the ball, he's crazy, because you're not going to get 17 points running the ball. And we sack Mahomes. This is the best. This is the best game we've played. This is easily the best game we've played, and we needed it against the Super Bowl champions. I'm going to put in the pass. <clears throat> there is a penalty flag down. And he is going to punt on 4th and 18. And I'm going to try to catch the ball and run with it. There's no real penalty for it. I mean, even if we had fumbled and he took over right there, he's still not going to win the game. Minute 52 left. We're going to go line buck with Blassen game. Now we're just eating clock. Now it's just eat the clock. Yeah, he gets caught in the backfield, but no big deal. Second and 11. Going to go line buck with Blassen game. And he gets some yards. That time he gets six yards, so now he makes it uh, third and five. Third and five, we're going to go flat pass to St. Brown. And it's incomplete. Incomplete, people. We're going to punt the ball. And it goes to show you, because this is the final um, Chicago defense. It goes to show you how good their defense could have been if they had all of these guys, if they had this defense to start the season with. Although, I still don't think in real life we would have beaten Kansas City. All right, so um, uh, we're going to just pin back our ears and look for the pass. Eight seconds left. Nothing he really can do. And we'll look for the pass again. We will look at the stats after the game is over, so stay tuned for that. And that was probably the last play. They got five yards. And that is it. So let's take a look at the statistics. The box score. We went at 31 14. Fields was 16 of 24, passing for 223 yards and two touchdowns. And even Badgett got a pass and it was incomplete. Mahomes was 16 of 29, passing 185 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Khalil Herbert. Rushed 11 times for 56 yards. Rashawn Johnson rushed 11 times for 52 yards and a touchdown. Fields rushed 9 times for 53 yards. Deonta Foreman rushed 8 times for 30 yards and a touchdown. And uh, Kari Blassengame rushed 3 times for 5 yards. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire rushed 8 times for 41 yards for Kansas City. Pacheco rushed eight times for seven yards. We really nailed Pacheco in the backfield a couple of times. Jarek McKinnon rushed five times for nine, and Mahomes rushed twice for 29. I'll let you look at the receiving stats. Santos was one for one on field goals from 30 to 39, and, um, 
and he was four of four on extra points. So there you go. Now let's look at let's get out of that and look at our division. Now if we look at our division, we are three and zero leading the way. Three and zero. Detroit's one and two. Green Bay's one and two, and Minnesota's zero and three. And so that is how it is. We are three and zero after three games against three tough teams. That there's no way we should have beaten any one of them, and we did. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.